Hi, I'm Tiffany Trader, Senior Editor with HPC Wire, and we're here in Austin for SC15. I'm here with Alex Buzari from DDN, and we're going to um, talk a bit. And Alex, I understand that you've been traveling a lot, talking to lots of different people in the community, a lot of end users and partners, and I was just wondering if you could share some of the lessons that you've been learning, specifically with the convergence that we're seeing between HPC and big data, and what that means for DDN. Absolutely, Tiffany. Well, it's been really, really interesting times. What we're seeing, which is absolutely phenomenal, uh, is that HPC, which historically was really quartered in a very narrow area in government labs and academia, has now evolved and is solving problems all over the place in a broad range of industries. And those industries are really benefiting from it in a major way. Um, medical science is benefiting from HPC in that people are now finding cures to diseases much faster and so saving lives as a result of it. Financial services, people are using HPC in order to accelerate testing for very complex models which is resulting in better returns on their portfolio so it's making people wealthier. Uh, in manufacturing, we're seeing car manufacturers, airplane manufacturers using HPC in order to design better, safer cars and airplanes and bring their products to market it faster. So it's this tidal wave which started out in this very, very small market, a handful of labs, a handful of universities, which is taking the world over by storm. And, and it's fantastic. It's a fantastic time to be in HPC. And I see this all over the world. As I travel, it's happening increasingly everywhere. Fantastic. And um, you've been working on the Wolf Creek platform. And I understand that you've announced, um, you've made several announcements around that at SC15. And I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit um, about the uh, products that you've announced. Sure. So the Wolf Creek platform is one that is really interesting to us. Uh, it's a completely novel approach to computing. So Wolf Creek, in essence, is a data storage platform. Um, it is a hybrid platform and a hyper-converged platform. Now, what does that mean? Um, hybrid means that Wolf Creek can accommodate a combination of solid-state devices that are very, very high speed, as well as spinning disk, which provide capacity. And you can mix and match solid-state and spinning disk under the same platform in order to hit both your performance requirements as well as your capacity requirements, which in HPC is always very, very critical. People need a lot of performance in order to conduct their tests, their experiments, their scientific projects, gain an acceleration in time to insight, as well as capacity to store the massive amounts of data that get generated as a result of it. Uh, the other wonderful thing about Wolfgate, the platform, is that it can tie into various types of applications and file systems. So you can have Lustre, GPFS, which are the two most commonly used file systems in the HPC industry, be embedded into the platform in order to gain better efficiency. Wolf Creek can also be used with a variety of protocols going up into the cluster. So you can have an InfiniBand connection. You can have an OmniPath connection with Intel's new technology. Uh, you can have an Ethernet connection. All these things can be deployed on top of the Wolf Creek platform in order to accommodate customer needs, irrespective of what their IT infrastructure looks like. So that's for the Wolf Creek platform. Uh, IME is a revolutionary technology that we've been working on for a number of years. And what IME does is it enables organizations who have very, very complex projects and programming methodologies to accelerate their applications. So an application that was running at a certain speed uh, and delivering science at that speed can now run 10 times, 100 times, or 1,000 times faster. And that acceleration means, again, getting quicker insight into what needs to be done. Um, depending on what the field is, it means more profitability for the organization, it means saving lives, it means better safety. It's a significant acceleration of the application's performance in the context of an IT infrastructure. And we're very, very excited about it. And I think there's one more important piece to the puzzle that was announced today, right? With your infinite memory engine, yes. IME. Could you tell us a little bit about that, too? 
Sure. So, so IME again uh, ties into the cluster, is very, very close to the processors, accelerates applications, accelerates file systems. So typically what we've seen in HPC in a variety of use cases is file systems can get really boggled down. And so performance drops and all the money that people have invested in building these clusters and putting them to use ends up not being utilized in the most efficient way. We give the power back to the cluster, we make the cluster far more efficient. So application acceleration, file system acceleration, and gaining better predictability into what the cluster can deliver. These are the main benefits of IME. Uh, and then we can tie it into job schedulers so we can get advance notice of what jobs will be coming down into the customer's infrastructure, and we can make those run much more efficiently. IME then can bridge into the Wolf Creek platform in order to tie application acceleration into persistent storage, and from there we can go into our object-based technology for collaboration, distribution of content, as well as active archive and deep archive. So it ends up being an end-to-end -end data lifecycle management that can be used used in a very, very broad range of applications and use cases. Now, is, is this a platform that you're planning on taking into Exascale, and how will you satisfy the needs of HPC as well as Hyperscale and possibly and also the classic enterprise segment as well? Sure. So Exascale is a very interesting challenge. Exascale is something that um, pretty much every country uh, is trying to achieve. Exascale is a way to achieve significantly higher levels of performance to do computing and to solve problems in science at a level which is not possible today. Uh, the challenge with Exascale is that the performance requirements cannot be achieved using existing methodologies. Uh, you have to come up with a completely different approach to computing. Uh, and that's one of the things that DDN has been doing over the last seven, eight years or so. We've been developing a very scalable, very flexible framework that will enable our customers to achieve exascale computing, we believe, in the next, next five or six years. So again, it's application acceleration with IME uh, using a framework which combines processors, interconnect, uh, new advances in silicon and new advances in non-volatile memory technology in order to greatly accelerate the performance of an IT infrastructure and in essence beating Moore's law in very, very significant ways. So that is the next frontier in traditional HPC. Now, the other interesting thing is that as we set out to solve the problem of exascale for high performance computing, uh, we also ended up solving it for the enterprise and for the internet world. I mean, in the internet, as you know, we all now use our mobile devices and we're trying to gather as much information as we can and gain insight from our mobile devices. Well, we have customers now who are providing tools and capabilities and delivering services to consumers, whether it's movies or games um, or the ability to shop what is more appropriate for their needs, and they're doing it across hundreds of millions of consumers. Well, the technologies that we've developed from IME to the Wolf Creek platform, to WAS, our object-based technology, are enabling not just Exascale in HPC, but they're also enabling internet companies to deliver their goods and services with much higher quality of service and much better insight into what consumers really need for the internet world. So this is a bridge that is happening between HPC the labs and the rocket scientists, and the enterprise and the web and cloud. So it's all coming together, and that's why we view it as a major societal change. HPC is truly permeating the fabric of our lives everywhere, and it's enable us, enabling us to do things that we just could not do before. So we see that HPC has its exascale challenge, but the enterprise and web scale side has their version of the exascale challenge as well. Absolutely, right. And, you know, the, the, top, the top 500 list was announced here at the show. Um, what, um, what was DDN's uh, percentage and placement on the list? I understand you have a big share of the list, correct? So, so we're still compiling it, but historically, uh, I mean, DDN has been at the forefront of HPC. I mean, this is a market uh, where we started. 
We're very passionate about it. Uh, it's a market which has been very, very good to us. Uh, typically, DDN places roughly in 65% of the top 100. So uh, we have been the market leader in this space, thanks to our customers' trust and confidence. And I guess thanks to our engineering team's ability to continue to deliver great products that solve these challenges for the HPC market. Um, we expect to be pretty much in the same spot, so I think we'll be north of 60%. Uh, and then if you look at the broader list, which is the HPC 500, uh, which takes a little bit longer to compile, uh, we've always been a market leader in that space for many, many years. Uh, we expect that we'll continue to be north of 30% of that. So market leader in the top 500, market leader in the top 100. Um, the trends that we're seeing are interesting. Uh, the HPC 500 seems to be broadening uh, in that it's no longer as US centric as it used to be. Uh, China has more and more uh, supercomputers and large clusters that are placing on the list. Um, so we believe it's a good thing. We believe it is just helping different geographies uh, adopt and put HPC to use, which in the end is helping everybody. Uh, HPC is all about collaboration. Uh, it's all about the ability to innovate and put that innovation to very good use. So we're very pleased to see that uh, the impact of HPC is broadening and it's truly becoming a global technology. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you for joining us today. This was really great. Thank you very much, Tiffany. Glad to be here.